Hello people, I hope you all are doing good. So today this video is about a use case, you, see, you can say that. So let me explain you the use case which I'm going to implement in this video, okay? Suppose I have a talent job, okay? And in that talent job, we generate multiple files in different type of files, like some CSV files, some Excel file, so basically through my talent job, we are generating list of files in a particular directory. So this is my uh, folder. This is test folder. Uh, here we generate multiple files on daily basis. Like uh, with the help of job, we execute, fi we generate files here and we send those files to a required person. Okay, like cut and paste or just uh, after copying and pasting, we just delete files from here that, you know, handled by talent job. So yeah. So before uh, cleaning this folder, business now wants that, okay, okay before cleaning, uh, just send me a mail that in this folder, what all the files present with their uh, size also, okay? The use case is to send mail in mail, we should uh, list all the file names which are present in this uh, test folder for each particular day with their file sizes like i don't know why uh, but they they want okay so let me show you an example this is an example like this is hello please find the uh, files detail of this particular directory so you can provide this also and yes we have today total files equals to this one and uh, the files name plus their file size also okay so we need to send this to business so this we're going to achieve in this video Okay, okay, let's get started. Okay, uh, see, uh, for uh, just uh, for this job, we only need uh, five components that is T file list, T file property, T flow to iterate, and this uh, T Java. Okay, this uh, instead of this one, uh, we, we will needing T send a mail for sending mail. Okay, so right now I'm just explaining the explaining you the logic and then later on I will tell you how to uh, just mention these uh, things in mail. First of all, I'm just picking that particular directory, okay, which uh, I need to send business. So this is fixed, okay, for right now. And you know the properties of this component, okay? So I'm not uh, going to explain this because it will waste our time. Okay, now next is file mask. So I chose that, okay, my job only generates CSV file in this directory for that particular job, okay? So I chose mask as a CSV. So yeah, this one is done. Now, next thing is that we attached, uh, this is dynamic path, okay? To, for, iterate, for iterating, like more than one file, say we have to iterate, then we just provide dynamic uh, file path, okay? With the help of this uh, global variable, okay? Uh, you know how to uh, get this. You don't know, uh, let me just, Tell me in this particular place, control plus space, and from which component you need a file name from T file list, right? So just type T file and list. So, related to this, uh, you will get all the global variables that can be used. So, we are using this current file path. So, on every iteration, it will send you a new file. Okay, this one file path. I hope this is clear. Okay, great. Now next move to a uh, next component that is T flow to iterate. Okay. Now what I'm doing in my mail, a business asked me file name plus file size also. Okay. For every file that present in that folder. So with the help of this component, I am storing uh, using this uh, T file property. Okay. I didn't explain you this T file property. So this is nothing. This is a component uh, provided by talent tool. To extract your file uh, properties okay with the name only you can understand so absolute path your that directory name okay uh directory name specific name like test and this will be like your complete path this is base name base name that means file name this is more a string like what rights do you you have on that uh, file size of file m time m time string so everything you will uh, get with the help of this component okay so this is a very helpful component when you work with uh, files 
now uh, using this file we, oh, our business asked only two things like file name plus their size only so we are going to use only these two columns okay that's why if you see in t flow it to iterate uh, i have only fetched base name and size in this particular variable okay this is key and this is value key means variable name and value means uh, vari uh, val uh, variable value okay now this is this is the most important component what we are doing here let me just before that i have created two context variable first one is message second one is count and message is to store your uh, whole message to send in mail like uh, if the this whole thing please find the details hello and all thing everything uh, this whole thing we are going to store in a variable that name as the message and this variable we will be using in t cell mail component okay and now this is the count variable for your storing count a number of files present in that directory and you need to provide zero value here by default because if you will not provide zero value in default then it will keep throwing you null pointer exception okay so in case to avoid null pointer exception we provide default value here it avoid a null pointer exception somehow next thing first what i am going to do if you see here this can be added okay this is a string so we will add in manually and first thing we need to fetch is that you have total file i need to know what is the total file for that particular day so i need to store that number of counts so for that what i am going to do i am going to use this logic first of all context dot count that is my variable plus t flow to iterate current iteration okay this is a global variable you can just uh, fetch if i just say control plus space and then your component name okay you will get all the global variable described here you can use to okay so i hope this is clear what i'm uh, using here to flow to iterate current iteration you you see here this is it connected to iterate so after fetching the first file it will come here and it will send it data of that particular file to t flow to iterate right and it will store that file name and file size value and it will provide provide to t java okay we haven't used here t java row because t java row never accept iterate iterate uh, uh, this connector as a input okay so that's why now uh, why we doing here uh, uh, this and we are storing again this in context variable count why we are doing this uh, context count plus and this variable you know like we generally do with java also like sum equals to sum plus and then i value of for loop because on the first iteration you know this will uh, give you one only okay in on every iteration t flow current iteration will give you one one as a value you see it is an integer so it will return you integer value that is one one plus context dot count at present before uh, when we are starting the job the value of this variable is 0 so 0 plus 1 is 1 and that will be storing in this context variable that is count now from 0 it get updated to count 1 uh, okay now on second iteration again this thing will throw you one value but in this context plus count we have uh, as a value as a 1 because of the before iteration so 1 plus 1 it is 2 so this goes on till the you are all file fetched from the t file list component and at the final it will store in the count one okay so this is totally java logic no uh, no that okay nothing uh, new nothing complex now same thing i am doing with the t message context variable what i am doing context dot message i am using this message context variable plus like how i need to uh, display my data like it's first as a count of uh, that number like this is my first number okay and second one is my file name okay so yeah this is t file list mb file so this will return you the sequence of file like 1 2 3 and it will throw you uh, ascending order with the alphabetical okay so first i what i'm doing that okay this is integer value so it is returning you the index of file which is we are going to use here like 1 2 3 4 for uh, telling you the uh, sequence plus concatenating with the uh, with the space because after one we need to provide a space for better look 
and then we are providing the file name so this file name we are getting from t flow to iterate component okay how you can get this let me just show you okay uh, just control plus space and yes where uh, did we store that value in t flow to iterate you remember in key value so type t flow to iterate so you can see we have two variable here file name and file size so first of all we need to fetch the file name so i will select the file name so it's got a selected plus now again space see space and then your file size is a, a, a string so i have written uh, okay you can just type here file size also it, it is that uh, you know uh, manual manually done plus a space plus your file size right file size will be returned and i am dividing by 1024 uh, whatever the file size it, it, it is returning you know why because first of all uh, the file size talent tool returns that will be not in kb okay so that's why uh, in order to represent into kb we are dividing the value by 1024 value okay and then again plus and then again uh, next line this one this is totally java okay so on the first iteration we have the uh, campaign like file so it will store as the one campaign file plus its size plus why we are using it so that on the next iteration when it will store the value so that that should be stored into the next line otherwise it will uh, become mess because the value will be printed just after 2 kb okay that will be printed in the same line instead of new line so to so to provide new line we have used this uh, slash n okay i hope till now everything is clear so on new on every iteration we have used here again we are uh, just concatenating with the variable that's why it will keep adding my data into that variable okay so it will keep appending you can say that so similarly we have done with count variable also with the and same with the message variable also now on applying this uh, on sub job okay i have printed the values of both the, con the both the variable let us see okay see total file present four you can check also like csv file we have four and yeah uh, the sequence like uh, the you know that uh, a, a t file is nb line plus base name uh, that we use for a file name and the file size that is presented in every proper sequence okay you can just decorate it or you can just uh, represent it in your way whatever uh, system you like so now it's a turn to how to use these values in t send mail you can use this t from cc okay so we need to add in message like hello uh please uh find the folder details whatever you need, what you want to write you can write now on the next line total number of file present in if you want to add your directory you can use t file list current directory uh, global variable okay otherwise uh, you can we are just uh, avoiding this plus total number of files present now we need to mention here the number of file count so which context we need to here apply context variable okay so context dot count i hope it's good so because our value is storing in this context uh, count variable right so we need to store, uh, we need to mention that uh, variable here now in the new line okay in the new line uh, what we need to mention we need to just mention context dot message because our because the value of uh, this thing this uh, these things already present in my message variable so i just need to mention message uh, that uh, variable here and it will automatically uh, send in the mail okay 
So why I mention in context variable so that it don't become a mess in my T send mail component. That's why I just mentioned there. Okay. I hope the scenario is clear, like how, what we are doing and what, how we did. If you have any doubt or you know any better uh, way to implement the, uh, this requirement, you can uh, comment uh, in the comment section. Okay. Uh, or also, like you can make dynamic also, like you know, uh, uh, play with the file mask here to add a date also to add a multiple uh, string also you can play with the file mask similarly you can play with this also like if you uh, instead of just sending details in such a boring format so you can use your html uh, format uh, html option like go to advanced setting and instead of plain text uh, type uh, select html and just use your uh, front end skill here and send the mail it will look absolutely perfect Okay, so I think uh, we are clear till here. Okay, uh, how to mention in mail also and how to how we are fetching the data in uh, our context variable also. Okay, so thank you for watching my video and have a good day. Bye bye.